This is the future. Is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you the village or some of the village houses that I've built in the last week. I've also spawned a couple of villagers which half disappeared I'm not sure where they are and I spawned 10 iron golems which is supposed to protect the whole place but I found them all hiding in the cemetery for some other reason but we will sort that out eventually as we go I'm also trying to start to extend the walls and as you guys can see this really turned out into one massive build I did not think it's going to be this big but it is actually quite a, a big build so before we start, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. And welcome to the village. Um, in the last video you guys would have noticed that I was busy building these houses. Well, they are finally finished. Now, according to the manual, there are three different types of houses. Actually, four different types of houses. And I've built a couple of each. So, this is your basic layout. Every house has got a fruit and vegetable garden outside. Um, I tried to make it nice with some flowers. And the inside of the houses all look exactly the same. A bit of a different decor and a bit of a different um, furniture but the layout is exactly the same As you guys see here, um, when we approach the uh, cemetery, you'll see all these iron golems um, gathered in here, and I don't know what the hell they are doing all, but. Um, I think I'm going to have to take them out and actually put gates in to prevent them from going in there again. Cut me down, 
As you guys can see, there are some villagers still roaming around here. Um, these are our second type of houses. This is called a bungalow. So all of them, I've built three of them with exactly the same layout, but as I said, different decor. And for some reason, these guys are all standing on the counters. I don't know what they're doing here, but this is where most of them are hiding out in the kitchen for some other reason. I also tried to make a bit of uh, different color houses and I built this jetty where you can actually stand and catch some fish or whatever but I must say this blue that I used is an extreme extreme blue the wife is not very happy with this blue I must say it is actually an ugly blue this is not forever Here is our third type of house. This is like a self-defensive house. You guys can see there's some shutters. And the idea is to have one entrance at the top and no entrance at the bottom. It's so that if the place is attacked, the people can go in, close all windows and doors and put in the extra shutters and then hide on, in the basement area, if you can call it like that. It will protect you against spiders, creepers and all other kind of monsters. Also, once again, same layout different decor so as you guys can see you come down here to your bedroom area and there's no other way to get in except from the top so I'm not sure if you would if you build this house you can maybe have a retractable ladder or um, you know kind of take the step away so nobody can uh, gain access to the house itself but I also built four of them in different colors This is my main street that goes into the town from one of the gates that I'm still gonna build but the reason why it's so broad is because that's the street that you use to come in with the carts and animals. And then this is our last type of house. It's called a rural house and we'll go into the rural house just now. But this is this is where I'm gonna build one of the gates. So if you have um, if you're a traveler, you're a, a, a salesperson, you've got horse carts and goodies this is the road you will use to come in because the other roads are too narrow and this road also goes straight to the stables this was the first time that i built with cherry wood and I must say this is a very beautiful wood. I actually should have built with this before. So you've got your living room area. You've got your kitchen, which is a nice big kitchen because in this house there lives more than one person. And uh, also you'll notice next door there's also um, a big garden. There's a big dining room table here. So we've got a dining room. And then when we go back to the back corner, you'll find a little library or a reading corner. With some books that you can read and then as you go up to the first floor 
you're gonna find the bedrooms up here and on the top floor there is a workroom As you guys can see I'm already bringing the moat down and I'm gonna start closing off the walls and then that little island on there on the head of you that's gonna be the place where we're going to build the actual fortress and the barracks with all these goodies because I ran out of space I think technically you should have built the fortress in the middle to, and have all the other buildings protected but the cathedral is not actually taking the main thing so guys if you like this video Remember to subscribe to this channel, give me a thumbs up and hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of any future uploads. And then until next time guys, whatever you do, remember to keep it safe. Till next time, cheers.